with this name is going places. Well done, Jimena, you're doing well. Hello, my exciting Keiths. My name is Patrick, and welcome to Fun with First Names, where each week we look into the meaning, origin, and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we're looking into the first name of Jimena. Pretty sharp pronouncing that, right? Hexamina? Jimena? Maybe a H. You get the idea. Jimena. The name's on the screen there. Let's go. Actually, before we really dive into this, I just need to highlight that we're trying to hit 1,500 followers on Instagram at the moment. What about 1,430, I believe? Around that number, I should have checked. So we need about 70 more of you guys. I know there's 70 of you who enjoy Name Explain enough to go follow me on Instagram. So do go consider doing that. I upload all kinds of fun, silly pictures on there of my life, of my hair, of silly things I like to wear. All that rhymed a little bit. I don't rhyme all the time on there though, but there'll be a link down below. So go check that out. It'll really help out in a big way and feed my ego. More importantly, it'll feed my ego. Though, of course, the best way to help Name Explain is through Patreon. I want to say a huge thank to everyone who became a patron this week. This includes Damien W and Daniel Munter. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Sorry if I forgot you. You guys help Name Explain in the best way possible. $2 a month for all it takes to get your name at the end of the video. Gets you extra content. Gets you these videos ad-free. Loads of good stuff. It'll be, there'll be a link for that as well down below. Go check that out as well. Thank you. But anyway, on with today's name of Jimena. And Jimena is a Spanish name, meaning not only is it popular in Spain, but it's popular across the Spanish-speaking world. Majority of South America, Central America, you'll find this name in all those parts of the planet. Names aren't just stuck in one part of the world, however. Names can cross languages, and when names cross languages and the globe, they sometimes change as well, though that change isn't always too dramatic. In example, the French version of Jack is Jacques. I think I'm pronouncing that right as well, but you guys get it, you can quite easily see Jack and Jacques being somewhat similar to one another. Normally, when I see a foreign name, I have a good guess at what it would be in English, like with Jack and Jacques. Normally, it's quite easy to deduce, but this isn't actually always the case, however. Sometimes these changes can actually be pretty darn dramatic, and a great example of this is with the name Guillermo. Guillermo is another Spanish name, like Guillermo del Tolo, or Guillermo from What We Do in the Shadows. I adore, I love that show. I love when, uh, Nandor. I love when Nandor shouts Guillermo. Guillermo! I be a big fan of that, so that's a bit random. Um, Guillermo is actually just the Spanish version of William, and those two names don't sound that similar at all. And I think that's a really good example being a name that sounds different. Nothing like what it actually is. It simply is the Spanish version of William. So when I see this name of Jimena, I have no clue what English name this could relate to. I have no clue what the English form of Jimena could be because it doesn't look like on face value anyway. Any name I know it very much reminds me of Guillermo. It reminds me of Guillermo as well in the William fiasco. So has it got a form? Has it got an English version? Is there an English form of Jimena? And if there is, what on earth is it? Because no, no, no names are coming off the top of my head that sound anything like Jimena in English. My hair's gone mad. Let's sort that out. It'll be taught out by the next take, I promise. So there is actually an English form of Jimena, and in English, Jimena is the name, drum roll please, Simone. Yep, didn't see that coming, Simone. So how on earth did Simone become Jimena in Spanish, and or was it vice versa? How did Jimena become Simone in English? Well, it's worth remembering that Simone and Jimena are just both the female forms of the male names of Simon and Jimeno, respectively. Respectively, I can't remember what order I said those in, but you, I'm sure you can figure out which one's which there. So we really have to ask ourselves how Simon became Jimena in Spanish and how Jimena then just got feminized into Jimena. Well, initially, Simon started life as the Greek form of the Hebrew name of Shimon, and apologies, I'm not 100% sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But this name of Shimon, this Hebrew name means I listen or he has been heard, something like that. And this probably relates to God because most things relate to God if you look in Hebrew and whatnot. Then when this Greek name of Simon arrived in the Iberian Peninsula, it became Himeno. Notice that has a J at the moment and we've talked about this before. We've talked about Spain's love of J and X before in the uh, Xavier or Javier video, I ought to say. And this of course involves the Basque language once again. Go check that out video out if you haven't already. Really good stuff. Hopefully Amber's put a picture of the thumbnail here. Maybe a link to it up there. She wouldn't do that. I might do that. You can't even see my hand right now. It's gonna be covered by a picture, but you guys get the idea. Go check that out. So it's not too surprising to see this name being replaced for J in the Iberian Peninsula in the Basque language and in the Spanish language becoming Jimeno. Though this is the first time I've seen J replace an S. Um, 
that's something I haven't seen before in names. Um, if you guys can send some, let me know some more examples, that'd be great, but I, I haven't noticed this before. And as we know, J and X both made very similar sounds in Basque and in Spanish. So this name of Jimeno with a J became Jimeno with an X as we know it today. And while that was all happening with the male name of Simon and Jimeno, it was happening on the female front as well. These names often get feminized. So Simon became Simone and Jimeno became Jimena, which brings us back to the name we started this video with, Jimena. I always love finding out when names that don't seem that similar at all actually have a really deep connection. So it was really cool to have this really exotic sounding name of Jimena, at least I think it's quite exotic sounding anyway, Jimena. Definitely here in England, you don't meet many Jimenas. It was really amazing to see that it's simply just the Spanish form of Simone. I thought that was really cool anyway. And while there may not be that many Jimenas here in the UK, stateside this name is really on the rise. It is the 129th most popular female name in 2020. So that's huge, like this name is just shooting up at the moment. And that's the kind of thing happening with uh, Javier Xavier as well at the moment. These X names are just really popular, very unique sounding. People love unique, different names and they're just up and up and up. Don't be surprised if this enters the top 100 by next year or definitely in the next 10, five years, that's for sure. This name is going places. Well done, Jimena, you're doing well. And I can only imagine that this name is super popular in the Spanish speaking world, in the likes of South America, Central America, and Spain itself. If you're a Spanish speaking Jimena watching this video, or even a Jimeno, do let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Famous Jimenas include the likes of Jimena Diaz, and she was the wife of El Cid, El Kid. I don't know how to pronounce that, but he seems to be a very popular figure in Spanish folklore. I think he was a real person. Didn't do too much research, but he seems to be a big deal. Let me know more about that in the comments or some of you guys do. And there's also Jimena Bellido, who was a badminton player. I haven't got much more to say about her because surprise, surprise, I couldn't find that. I couldn't find too many famous Jimenas who I have a personal sort of link to or knowledge of, but badminton's pretty popular. Cool to see there's a badminton playing Jimena. At least I think that's cool anyway. And then there's also Jimena Navaliti. I think I'm pronouncing that last name right. And she won Miss Universe in 2010. And I think it's, I think it's very presumptive, Miss Universe. Miss World, that's fine, but we don't know what's out there. Like, we don't know what's out there in the entire universe. To just presume the most beautiful life form in the entire universe is on Earth, it's very presumptuous. We need to be better, guys. It's, it's 2021. And as for video game Jimena, I couldn't find any, which is really strange. I would have thought this name would be quite popular in the video gaming world. It's really cool sounding now. I'm surprised there isn't a Jimena in any video games yet. Let's change that. If you make video games, Call one of your characters Jimena, and I'll mention them the next time I talk about this name, which will probably be never. But anyway, that's just about everything you guys knew about the name of Jimena. But what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Jimena? And are you called Jimena yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. And I just want to share some of the thoughts you guys had on last week's name of Wendy. Bob FG said, Wendy can be a diminutive for Wendell, just as Johnny is for John. That's for boys. I don't know what the feminine form of Wendell is, but it can be diminutive for that too. How interesting, so a couple of you guys mentioned this. When we talked about the male Wendy's of the past before Peter Pan, a lot of you guys suggested that maybe it was a diminution of Wendell, and that makes a lot of sense in the world, Wendell, Wendy. I can see that happen. That's probably how it became a boy's name back in the past. It could be a boy's name now. I think Wendell's still a boy's name now. Yeah, so let's bring Wendy back for boys. Little Trash said, most people give the example of Wendy for a made up name by an author, me, who thought of Renezme with the weird little eye mouth eye emoji. So um, I didn't watch Twilight as a kid. Um, I just wasn't, I didn't read the books, I didn't watch the films, it just didn't appeal to me much. At that age, I was the wrong place, wrong time, I suppose. I'm sure they're really good. I, I, I'd happily watch them now and read the books. And I'm sure they're harmless enough in their own little way, but when, when, when I saw Renesmee, she seems to be having a renaissance at the moment. Seems to be having a Renesmee renaissance at the moment. I've seen loads of like memes of her on Instagram. Amber, if you could throw up a picture of Renesmee on here, what is that all about? And like, there's the weird like fake puppet that wasn't actually used in the film that's in circles at the moment. That's some very strange stuff, very funny, but yeah. And Stephanie Myers, I looked into it. She did make the name Renesmee. She made it by obviously putting the name Esme and Renee together. Very clever there, Steph. Um, yeah, that is another name made up by an author. Great suggestion, literal trash. And Anomina said, remember in the office when Michael Scott thought he was calling Kevin's friend Wendy, but he accidentally called a Wendy's restaurant? Oh Michael, oh Michael, 
we love you, but you're an idiot. Next week, we'll be looking for a name starting with the letter Y, and what name that will be exactly will be chosen on a poll exclusively for my patron to vote on. So if you enjoy the channel, want to help support it, and have a say in what names get explained, then please do consider becoming a patron. $1 a month, I mentioned $2 earlier, but just $1 a month gets you access to all this sort of good stuff, polls, exclusive content, and free videos. So much stuff is waiting for you on Patreon. $1 helps out in a huge way. If you can afford it, please do consider. It helps me, helps massively, helps all of this be a thing. But anyway, that's more than enough for myself. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram where I'm NameExplainYT, and don't forget to go join the Facebook group, Friends of NameExplain. Okay guys, take care.